tested by the U.S. Navy from 2005 to 2008. The sea fighter FSF-1 is considered the most modern warship of the U.S. Sea fighter is both a coastal patrol vessel and amphibious assault support, so independent operation is fairly similar for this ship. Sea fighter is known as an experimental littoral combat ship project developed under the program Tidal Littoral Surface Craft Experimental. The first and only ship built to date has been designated as FSF-1 or X-Craft. The design of the ship was a British collaboration which was ordered on February 15, 2003. Its skill was laid down on June 5, 2003 and was launched on February 10, 2005. Basically, the hull is designed to be a twin hull constructed out of aluminum, which provides exceptional stability when operating on the sea in all weather conditions. Sea fighter can operate on rough seas in both blue and little waters. The FSF-1 maintains a very different configuration when compared to other US Navy littoral combat ships. The displacement of the ship is 1,600 tons. The length is 79.89 meters. The beam is 21.9 meters and the draft is 3.5 meters. The superstructure is located at the bow of the ship, which is also the place where the flight control center is located. The two heliport occupies most of the deck area and can accommodate medium helicopters, such as the U.S. Navy Seahawk helicopter. In addition, it can provide full service for a number of small and medium-sized drones. The bridge is quite small in the overall design of the ship, which is operated by a three-man crew. The control stations are characterized by glass windows, convenient for patrolling coastal areas at high speed. The air traffic control tower can cover the entire aircraft deck, supporting the operations of the helicopters on board, as well as other loading missions. The ship is completely controlled by wire, there is a computer system specifically designed to control its systems and for navigation. The light system is specially designed for flight decks. It uses low-intensity blue light, which is specially effective when using night vision cookers. Helicopters can easily operate in night environments, even when sea fighter is at high speed. As an amphibious ship, Sea Fighter is capable of launching small craft up to 11 meters in length from the stern. In addition, it can accommodate service for assault craft and submersibles by means of a custom dual-purpose ram that also enables roll-on, roll-off operations for Humvee and other vehicles. In terms of proportion, the vessel is powered by a combined diesel or gas arrangement consisting of two MTU-959 diesel engines to operate in cruise mode. In addition, Sea Fighter is equipped with two LM2500 gas turbines, which provide high power for high-speed operations. With the proper arrangement of the hull, plus the four water jets, Sea Fighter can reach speeds of 50 knots and beyond. Rings can reach 4,400 nautical miles without refueling. The water jets drawing water from the bottom stern of each hull and powering it through large water turbines. Each water jet has thrust vectoring and thrust reverse, making it possible to move sideways while docking or even traveling in a stern. Thrust vectoring also makes it possible for sea fighter to make evasive maneuvers while traveling at high speed. This could prevent the craft from being forced to shore or into the path of enemy vessels.
for the U.S. Navy. Sea Fighter serves as an experimental project, so arm options are still being considered. The house capabilities will be explored to develop more similar types of vessels to patrol coastal waters in the United States. With its high rings and speed, Sea Fighter is expected to pave the way for a new class of destroyers capable of moving fast enough to avoid or overcome most of the current generation of torpedoes. Such vessels will be able to cross the Atlantic without refueling. With a unique hull design and very low radar signature, detecting them will be difficult. Sea Fighter will be able to respond quickly to air targets or to attack surface ships and submarines. On the other hand, it can use its speed to avoid torpedoes and missile attacks. My video of Sea Fighter FSF-1 Ancier. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.